And James, you know, you're, you're no stranger to being in bands either. You've got a, a long, chequered musical history, as, as is detailed in your book, the James A. Caster's Classic Scrapes. About the little good bookshops. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I was in Pin Drop, I was in Free Line Whip, the, the new hardcore skiffle movement, <laughs> the Capri Sun Quartet, <laughs> and the Wow Scenario. All good bands. <laughs> You're not making any of those up, not, are you? Not, none uh, of them up. So anyway. <laughs> and I came up with most of those names as well. <laughs> I was in a band once, and it was me and a didgeridoo player and a flautist. And uh, they wow. were both about 30 years older than me as well. And it was a jam band, and I turned up, and uh, I knew the, the flautist, because she was my singing teacher at yeah. the time. And she'd got this didgeridoo player who's really into conspiracy theories. And uh, I turned up, and we had a jam. And the th it sounded amazing, Serge. Okay. It was like really good. What's a flautist? Like uh, a flautist is a flute player. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, oh, I, I looked. At, I assumed that Alex was asking me. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate. I mean, I, I'm just well into my flute, so <laughs> I just thought. So anyway, uh, <laughs> but we had the jam, and uh, it didn't. The the, the, the the didgeridoo player told me to slow down, playing too fast on the congas. I was playing the congas at the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Slow down and then congas. And then the flautist was like, don't listen to him, you're absolutely fine. <laughs> then we had another jam, and he went, you're too, you're too slow now, speed those congas up. And the flautist went, you're fine, don't listen to him. And then her next student turned up, a little old lady. She shows up, she sees we're in a band. She says her son owns his own record label and is a big producer. She phones him, gets him on the phone, on speakerphone. It's our first band practice. We're literally about to get signed, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're jamming it out. It's popping, sounding good. Did you do play? Gets up, stops it, goes, he's too fast again. Slow down. Floor it sticks up for me, always in my corner. <laughs> Don't listen to him, James. Gets his didgeridoo. You probably had this. Gets his didgeridoo, <laughs> holds it above his head, throws it on the floor. And what a satisfying doink noise. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mind it. Turns to her, shouts at the top of his lungs, I knew you were against me from the start with this band. <laughs> Fuck you. I am never going to be in a band with you again. I knew you were playing against me. I'm never playing a band with you ever again. He storms out. And then I was here from the phone, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> Half an hour, that band formed, met each other. <laughs> Wrote all of our songs, broke up and nearly got a record deal. <laughs> <laughs>